So, hi, uh, my name is uh, Martin, uh, Martin Koshov, and I'm 28 years old. Uh, I've been working in constructions in Gdańsk, uh, building the, the ships, and uh, I lived there for quite a while. Actually, I was raised uh, back in the city and uh, still there. Uh, currently, I live in Falowiec building. Uh, I have one apartment there and uh, actually this is the same building where my family uh, lived when I was uh, young. So, you can tell I was raised uh, by it, by the surrounding. Um, well, Gdańsk is, uh, is quite, uh, quite a nice city. There are plenty of old uh, buildings and many places to explore and to go to. Yeah, I really like living there. I, there, there are still some places which, uh, which I discovered that, uh, that I haven't found before. But more or less, uh, I know, if you throw me into a random place there, I can always find a way home or uh, to where I want to get. So I can tell I know the city. Okay, uh, well, I've, I'll start with an example that happened to me uh, last time on Wednesday. So I was sitting back in my apartment in Falowiec building and I was watching through the window. Uh, like, if you look uh, through it, you, you can see the excavations of uh, Pukto. It's uh, towards the, the riverside and it, it's quite a distance in fact but uh, back then uh, when I looked to it, it it looks disturbingly close like on the length of, of my arm I could almost uh, reach it and I could see all the details of it and uh, that really feels disturbing and uh, wrong <laughs> and uh, what, what, what I recall, I, I, I try to think that, well, if, uh, if, if it's... Uh, the, 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 there was this conflict between what, what I perceive and what I learned, what, what I know. So I try to figure out that, well, if, if that's so far, then probably it should be a bit foggy or I should see less details. But then I try to focus on it and actually the more I focus, the, the more I felt it's... Uh, it's really close, yeah. Um, yeah, I often have, have those feelings that, uh, like, items look uh, either farther than, than they are in, in real or really closer. Um, then, uh, like, other time, uh, I recall, uh, I was uh, walking uh, on, on the streets. Uh, like actually, usually, when I have one of those attacks, I, I try to take a walk, and uh, it, uh, it it helps me to, to feel the fresh air. But then, after uh, uh, the whole thing reverses, then I feel incredibly small. And uh, when I'm passing the St. Mary's uh, Church, it's, it looks so huge, like all the way up uh, to the sky, and the, the bricks are getting really big, and it, it's monumental. Uh, and almost like infinite height. And uh, back, back then, I had this feeling that the, the streets is getting bigger, and it will take me forever to, to get. Uh, whenever I'm going or back home. But it feels quite quite confusing. Uh, I'm not used to that situation and uh, then at, at first uh, it's, uh, it's not a panic uh, but uh, you just feel something is wrong and uh, so I look around and uh, then after after a while you you, you can you can feel that well I'm still alive and uh, haven't uh, haven't destroyed anything and uh, I need to keep going and 
a, a bit of that is, is also the feeling of, uh, of being closed. Like, uh, you know, I can perceive uh, all the surrounding, uh, hear all the sounds, but it sounds like coming from the distance. So, so in fact, uh, I feel like I'm locked uh, somewhere and uh, in, in some kind of cage. It's, um, I recall it's, it's not only about the perspective and the sizes that, uh, that changes. Uh, sometimes it's uh, also the, uh, the time that uh, is getting funny. Uh, like, I don't feel the time as, uh, as a continuous timeline. It's, uh, it's more to like all mixed up. Uh, all, the, um, all the things were created at once and the time is just meaningless. It's, as well not exist. So I can see some uh, Baroque, uh, when I look towards the Baroque uh, mansions, uh, they are full of uh, ornaments and sculptures. Uh, I'm pretty sure they, they're at least 100 years uh, old, but uh, at that time it doesn't feel any older than myself. And, uh, it's, uh, after uh, after a while, when when it starts getting back, uh, I can feel that uh, it all started to fluctuate. It either uh, looks yeah, like really f fresh, or then it uh, the city looks really old, like from the ancient times, like it was there forever. Uh, but at, uh, at the point uh, when it get back, it, uh, it's, it's usually okay, but uh, then I feel something else uh, start happening. Um, it's, uh, it, it all look like just a bunch of bricks made of the same substance and built without any concept. Uh, that's uh, totally a gay city without uh, an idea. Uh, and uh, I also see that the people are getting the same. It's uh, just um, like uh, the, the, the city was built without any point, uh, without any meaning. But then on the other uh, second, like I just blink my eyes and uh, I see it's totally different. So I start noticing how the lights and it becomes shiny and really fresh, uh, like almost in a movie or uh, really uh, splendid medieval uh, settlement. And uh, then I start noticing uh, all the expressions and people's faces, the, the smiles. The things that, that I see that they are not real. Like, if I look at the cranes on the riverside, uh, the, 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 they are a bit you know, rusty and it's a concrete thing, but it looks like it's just a substitute for, for something else. Mm -hmm. like things are getting crunk, uh, and then either with my, my roller or just by itself, or maybe it's just by getting tired. Um, I, I, I can see that. Um, it's not uh, that I can perceive the change of, uh, of the sizes and the distances. Uh, well, I, I, I can see that uh, the real sizes doesn't change, but my perception is, uh, is getting different. Uh, everything is, is falling back into the place where it, where it should be and to the proper size. Um, but, uh, but, but by looking at, at a certain item, or a building, uh, I can I can see that it doesn't change the size comparing to other buildings. It's just the the overall that uh, yeah that that is uh, resizing, and it, it it a bit feels that the things that are changed changing are the ones that I'm not focused on at the, the same at the time, and uh, yeah, it's uh, like usually towards the end of the walk. It's uh, when it's all back, uh, I feel that I can understand the surrounding and 
uh, it will be full, full of energy and now I can go and uh, change the world. It's, it's logical again and mm. I got the control over it. Um, the earliest uh, I can recall was when I was 14 and back then the, um, the attacks were really frequent and uh, it's, uh, I, I was uh, also living in, in that building and uh, it, it was, uh, I recall it was becoming really huge for me when, when I was outside and uh, uh, I look on one side on the other side and it was almost all uh, around me. Uh, but then, uh, well, the, the way I figured to, to deal with that was to take a few steps back and uh, take out the, the ruler. And uh, then, then I have the, the distance measured specifically on it. So if I put it in front of me, and then I, I could see that uh, here is where the building ends, here is the other end, and it doesn't move or change or anything. Then it all gets stable. Then when, once I have this reference point, I could see that other, other things are also stable. That, that really helps. I'm actually curious if, uh, if it can help for other people too. Uh, I, I guess it's... Uh, it's using the, the logic to, to convince the, the mind that, that the world is still, still alright. Yeah. Um, uh, I actually haven't met Anna, but uh, I did some research and uh, I heard that there are some. Um, I, I have read a few stories uh, of them, but it's a quite rare condition. So, so there are. Not. I guess you can also check and see if, if you know, I would be happy to, to meet uh, one of those. So the, the place where I live, uh, it's called Falovets building, it's because of its wavy shape. Uh, it's 850 meters wide, so we can imagine how many people live there, crowd that all together. And uh, then uh, there are plenty of smaller uh, flats all over the place, but just way too many and the community service is uh, quite poor. Also, in, in many of those you have shared facilities, like the toilets, so you actually need to get out of your apartment and sometimes wait for your neighbor to get out. Uh, but, well, the toilets uh, I can handle, but... Uh, the, what, what is worst for me are the small uh, spaces inside the, the corridors and uh, sometimes it, it feels impossible to fit a giant like me into the elevator or the staircase. Yeah. Um, uh, well, that actually depends uh, because uh, sometimes I really uh, feel um, uh, like the, the, those walls are getting closer and uh, I feel like in the cage in, inside it. Uh, but uh, then uh, in, at some moments I feel really small in, in that building. I just imagine myself in, in the apartment on fifth floor and in the middle of it, yeah, just the little box and with all the other people around it. It's, uh, it's like an ant. <clears throat> then, yeah, also you can imagine there are many families around, so sometimes uh, you can hear the baby crying just uh, on the side of your apartment and uh, you're just getting the part of other people's lives. Yeah.